Completely forget everything you've been told about potty training in the past. Most of the information out there today is dangerously outdated, and the odds are it'll actually hurt your chances of quickly and easily potty training your child. The absolute worst thing you can do is attempt to potty train your child without a proven plan. Simply using trial and error will only confuse your child, leaving you to clean up plenty of yucky messes from your floor, furniture, and especially your child's clothing. Be sure to watch this video until the very end, as I'm not sure how much longer this will stay online. I'm about to reveal to you a time-tested and proven method that'll have even the most stubborn child using their potty like a big kid, all within just three short days. I've never really been comfortable with others who now refer to me as some sort of potty training guru, so let me personally introduce myself. My name is Carol Klein, and I'm a regular woman like you, who's a mother of four mischievous children that I love to death. In this video, I want to share with you my personal story of how I stumbled upon a potty training method so quick and effective, you can personally use it to have your child potty trained in just three days guaranteed and most importantly never have to smell see or change another dirty diaper ever again now at the age of 11 I always wanted to be the proud mother of 13 children and live in an old stone house by a river it can be funny how life really turns out instead of having 13 kids I now take care of over 40 each year at a daycare business I built for myself so let's just say between my own four children and running a daycare I knew potty training would be a reoccurring obstacle in my life believe me I know exactly what it's like to be in your shoes as my firstborn Emily turned one years old thinking ahead about potty training seemed like it would be an exciting time in my mind's eye training my child to use the potty is the first time I truly help them on their way to becoming an individual to me it would be a rewarding experience for the both of us as the time grew nearer and my little 26 month old Emily started to show interest in that big white watery bowl a wave of nervousness washed over me as the reality set in I had no clue where to start or what to do. I was nervous that I wouldn't do a good job because after all, it's not exactly something you can remember going through yourself as a child. Being unable to relate to what my child would be going through made things that much more nerve wracking. That's when I had to take a step back and say to myself, know that it's not your fault. There are people who teach you how to go through giving birth and people who show you the proper way to hold and burp your child, but no one prepares you for potty training. It's all a bunch of personal opinions and hearsay when all you really want is an exact plan to follow that'll do the trick and do it fast. So when I first sought out information on potty training, I turned to the internet, just as you probably are doing right now. I was bombarded with a million things I should buy to help make potty training easier, from reward charts stickers to special potties that played music when you peed I was reluctant to spend money on something only to later find out it was just a gimmick I guess you could say I didn't want my money to be the only thing flushed down the toilet like you probably already have I started to notice pull-up diapers becoming more and more popular with parents and that's when I started to see a common trend between children in my daycare the boys and girls who were potty trained the fastest were the ones whose parents never trained them with pull-up up diapers after months of seeing this occur time and time again I was convinced pull-up diapers simply don't work if there's one thing I refused to do when potty training my daughter Emily it was putting her in pull-up diapers but I had to ask myself why so many parents are getting aboard the pull-ups bandwagon now understand that the diaper business is a multi-billion dollar industry they know when your child is a baby every dirty diaper will have to be replaced and that's another dollar in their pockets but once your child gets a little older these companies risk losing your business so how do they squeeze every Every last cent out of you before you no longer need their product by creating a diaper you need to buy after diapers or commonly known as pull-ups this is all really a ploy for the company to get your business longer all these companies really care about is how much money they make and sneakily advertise it as some amazing tool for potty training without turning this into a boring rant these diapers will more than triple the amount of time it takes to successfully teach your child how to use the potty now with that said let me give you a word of warning not having your child potty trained quickly is completely frustrating and the story I'm about to share with you will reveal just how messy it can be 
Anyone who knows me would call me a shopaholic with no hesitation. On weekends, my big adventure of the day would be running out to the mall and window shopping or trying on different outfits. I very seldom bought anything as most of our family's income went towards food and bills, but it's always nice to look. There I was in Saks Fifth Avenue with my little Emily, who was now just 26 months old and in her first week of potty training, when a pair of $348 black silk Prada dress pants leapt off the rack and led me to a change room. Now, I would never spend that on a pair of pants myself, but just had to see how they would look on me. They were a perfect fit, and as I turned my body from left to right, my eyes would stay glued to the mirror, admiring myself in the pants from all sides. You see, what made trying to potty train Emily on my own without a plan so frustrating was that I had no idea how to make her tell me when she needed to go potty. While my eyes were fixed on the mirror, Emily quietly had an accident all over the changing room floor without me even noticing. I unbuttoned the pair of Prada pants and immediately wished life had an undo button as I watched them fall down in the puddle of pee surrounding the change room floor. Needless to say, not knowing exactly how to potty train my child ended up costing me not just $348 on a new pair of pee-soaked pants, but total and utter embarrassment. I will admit, at that point, all I wanted to do was cry. Instead, I used my pain to light a fire within me and decided to find out exactly how to quickly potty train any child so Emily would never have an accident in public again. With my newly found motivation and stumbling upon my discovery between parents who used pull-ups compared to those who didn't, I knew that my daycare created the perfect setting to experiment with what actually works when potty training and what doesn't. What clicked in my mind one day is that for years, potty training had been one big puzzle. You know how the picture will look in the end, a potty trained child, but have such a hard time solving the puzzle because you're not sure what pieces are needed or how they fit together. For the next three months with Emily, I tried every possible tip, trick, and method out there. During this time, I faced countless accidents, and it easily became the most challenging, frustrating, and embarrassing time in my career as a mother. It wasn't until Emily reached 29 months old she became fully potty trained. By that time, I'd filled up an entire old leather notebook, jam-packed with all the notes I had taken during my first attempt ever at potty training. In addition to my own findings, I was receiving input and feedback from nearly all the parents whose children attended my daycare. On paper, it started to become clear to me what methods were effective and worked time and time again for families. Two years and one more child later, all of my findings had been turned into what I believe is the only effective method in existence to quickly potty training any child in as little as three days. It wasn't until I started giving out copies to all the parents whose children attended my daycare, I knew I was on to something big. The next week, parents started approaching me out of the blue, asking, how can I quickly and easily potty train my child? I would kindly give a copy of the guide along with my business card clipped to the top left-hand corner to anyone who asked. I would say over 127 mothers and fathers had come to my daycare that month alone just for a copy of the potty training guide that I'd spent so much time creating. When I would walk into my office in the morning, there'd be a minimum of 37 messages on my answering machine waiting there for me. I was getting phone calls from people either thanking me for helping them train their child in under a week or who heard about my guide from a friend or family member and wanted to know how they could get their hands on a copy. Listening to these messages quickly became a daily part of my routine and would take almost 45 minutes out of my workday. People started to call me an expert potty trainer, and I was flattered, but it was something I definitely never asked for or planned on when setting out to create my personal guide. Sometimes I wished it would even go away, as there were people who would seek out my personal phone number and insist on calling me at home. I don't know about you, but running around the house after children is hard enough on its own without constantly running towards or being on the phone. One day, an old friend showed up at my doorstep for a visit unexpectedly. As we sat down for a cup of coffee, she asked, what's new? I continued on to tell her about how I stumbled upon a method to potty training children that is so effective, I was starting to get phone calls from all over telling me they heard about it and wanted a copy. That's when my old friend inwardly smiled and said to me, 
why don't you make it available on the internet? I thought, what an amazing idea. It can be made instantly available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and to anyone, anywhere in the world who needed a proven, guaranteed potty training guide. So that's when I decided to make my guide available online. And thanks to the internet, I packaged my potty training method as a video, book, and audio course that you can instantly access right from the privacy and comfort of your home. This course will save you all the frustration, pain, and embarrassment you face by not following a proven plan. I had to learn the hard way, but you don't. Inside my guide, I reveal the six crucial building blocks you need to take your child through if you want to see results in as little as three days. Building block number one deals with readying your child for potty training. Even if they currently show no interest in being potty trained, I'm going to give you some of my all-time best tips that'll have your child counting down the days until they get to officially use their potty. Building block number two shows exactly everything you need to prepare for well in advance of actually starting the potty training process. Many parents move forward with potty training almost immediately and do so completely unprepared. After you read this chapter, you'll be ready for everything potty training throws at you and have an unshakable confidence that this is it, the day your child is out of diapers for good. Building block number three discusses how the first day of potty training is the most crucial and how it sets the tone of the following two days to come. I take you by the hand every step of the way, all day long, showing you the exact blueprint you need to follow for success. Building block number four is nearly left out of every other potty training guide on the market. One of the most challenging obstacles when potty training is attempting to do so throughout the night. I have perfected an